Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and data topics. If you would like to help grow this channel, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Today we're going to cover strength of materials in six. The topic of this tutorial is bending and deflection of beams. The question is included in the video. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. When doing these questions, please use the method I'm going to show you as this is the method that is marked correct. Using your own method to answer questions could cost you marks even though your method and answer might be right. See the cautionary note at the beginning of the video. On a side note, watch until the end of the video. If you watch only the first five minutes, you will not gain a full understanding of what you need to do. There is no quick fix in strength of materials. It takes persistence, discipline and repetition. You have to use these steps in order to succeed. Let's get straight into it. Our question states, oil with a density of 800 kgs per meter cubed is pumped through a steel pipe with an outside diameter of 500 millimeters and a wall thickness of 20 millimeters. Calculate the distance between the supports if the density of the pipe material is 7800 kg per meter cubed and the maximum allowable stress in the pipe is 60 megapascals. So, let's get our values in order. Density of the oil is 800 kg per meter cubed. The diameter, the big diameter, is 0 0.5. The little diameter because the wall thickness is 20, so you minus 40 from 500. So that is 0, 0,460. The density of the part material is 7,800 kg per meter cubed. The stress is 60 times 10 to the 6. And because of a formula that we're going to use later, Y is equal to D divided by 2. This is what we need to do now. Now, M, we need M, max. Now, to get M max, it is I... The density, I mean the stress, over Y. So, what we need to do now is say. Now we're going to, now we're going to, um, now we're going to elaborate on this formula. It is pi times d to the power 4 minus d to the power 4 our stress divided by 64 y and y is d over 2 so what we're going to do is say pi times 0, 0,5 to the power of 4 minus 0, 0,46 to the power of 4 times 60 times 10 to the 6 all over 64 times 0, 0,25 that is half our diameter and what we come out with is 208,824 kilo newton meters. So M for reference is 208,824. Now what we need to do What 
we're going to do is say we want the weight of the pipe. So the weight of the pipe is V, the density times G. Okay, so now this will equal pi over 4 times 0, 0,5 squared minus 0, 0,46 squared times 1 times 7, 800 times 9,81 and so weight of the pipe is going to be equal to now you put this in your calculator and you get 2,308 kilonewton meters so 2,308 kilonewton meters now we use the exact same formula for the weight of the oil. Weight of the oil. The only difference is the weight of the oil, weight of oil, is pi over 4 times 0, 0,46 squared. Times 1 times 800 times 9,81 and we are left with 1,304 kilonewton meters so 1,304 kilonewton meters Now, we are going to work out, they want the length between the supports. So we had to get that information to work out the length of the supports. Now, the length of supports is, now first we have to go M equals to L squared times the weight of the pipe plus the weight of the oil divided by 8. That is our formula. So our, so our values, now we have M, all we have to do is get this value and this value, so this is 208,82 equals L squared times 2 comma 308 times 10 to the 3 this is also times 10 to the 3 plus 1 comma 304 times 10 to the 3 divided by 8 and then now we're going to manipulate formula. Now our number is two oh eight comma eight two four times ten to the three. Times 
10 to the 3 equals L squared and this is 4, 5, 1, comma, 5. So, now we are going to divide by 4, 5, 1, comma, 5 take the root thereof and we have L. So finally, L, the length between the supports, is 21,51 meters. And that is our sum. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It helps to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. If you would like more videos like this, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Be at peace, be kind to each other and remember passing well is achievable. Have a great day, looking forward to seeing you in the next video.